Hey, uh, <clears throat> hey Veronica. So you think I'm scaring you? Well, I believe that you're scaring yourself because I'm scaring myself and you're watching it. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why I'm, there's no greater plan or anything for this. I, I, I can't imagine that like this will go on for 10 years and then I'll be in charge. Like I would, I would be, I would be in charge. I would, I would do it. I, I enjoy administration, and I enjoy communicating with people and, and creating a, a a business. I was gonna say, but like, like I used to play a lot of online video games, and um, I, I would like run a guild. Ultima Online was a game I used to play, and I, and I was like the person in charge. I like to be the person in charge, and like create an atmosphere where everyone can can grow and learn from each other and and stay away from violence and and every time I would ever play a video game in my life I would always be the good guy the, the guy who's trying to liberate and an un you know or, or the underdog you know the guy who who's trying to restore peace but in all those video games, the only way to restore peace was by killing a bunch of stuff. Usually they were monsters, but... I play a lot of war games. Conflict is inevitable, I suppose, but not war. Not, not fighting. Not physical violence. That's not inevitable. Conflict is inevitable. And we can't shy away from it, even, no matter how scary it is, and no matter how scared you might feel right now. We can't shy away from the conflict. This video of me going crazy, I... I regret, I don't regret it. Why, why I like YouTube is because I think it's a place that we can develop our minds and our ideas without any threat of violence. There's no large group of people that are going to go storm the castle or go set something on fire. It's not going to happen because we're all sitting in our apartments, our houses, just talking to each other, communicating, we're growing. And you know what this is? Like you said, it's a battlefield, but it's like a psychological battlefield for me because I'm battling my, with my own emotional conflict. And I feel like now I'm so much more in tune with humanity and people on a daily basis than I've ever been in my life. Just when people speak, I, I feel like I sense exactly why they're saying what they're saying. And it's not fake. And it's not me assuming it. It's not me thinking it. It's that I just know it. I, I experience it with them. Be not every time, but it's been happening more often than ever. Oh, and my intensity... <laughs> I gotta relax, I got, the thing is, okay, I'm intense on video because I'm like getting out my thoughts, but in life, I, I, I'm, I'm more like this, like, like on MSN, when I talk to people on MSN, I just like to chill out, and I don't like to just chill out, but I do, you know, people make, say funny shit, I laugh, I'll say funny stuff sometimes, but, um, I want to watch your video again. This is... Don't be afraid. Well, I guess that's ridiculous to say. You're going to be afraid. I'm afraid. I think everybody's afraid. But let's just keep going. Let's keep doing this. And, you know, like you said, for you, you, you haven't said the things that you're feeling yet. There's no excuse for that. It's just fear. It's inbred into us. Inbred? It's bred into us. In society. We are inbred with fear. 
We've been indoctrinated by it. Humanity, it's natural. We're afraid. We're terrified. Everyone's afraid. But now what's happening is now we're getting closer to it. We're getting closer to the core, so the fear is really ramping up. I'm feeling it on a daily basis. Last night, I just, I, my mind wouldn't stop after I went over to Kiss next door. And he was like, Ian, you have got to relax. You are losing it. And I said, I can't, Kiff. I can't stop thinking about it. I can. I don't want to. I don't want to. What is more important than self discovery? Communication. But that's it. The self discovery comes through communication. Through watching your video and then being provoked to thought, inspired to thought by your words. So you think I'm, my, my ego, I'm in ego right now, and that's true. I'm really very much in my own mind, thinking of my own feelings and my own thoughts, which I think is a healthy thing to do. Ego is not bad, it's just you can't let it get out of hand. And you, so you're saying I th you think I'm getting out of hand. Like I can't see what is happening and that my anger is, must really be amping up right now. Twice in the last week and a half, it's I've, I've lashed out. So that's an indicator of something. It's an indicator of my nerves for my career, my acting career. Like it's about to start for real. In January, I have a show that's going to be on TV that I was on on the CW network called Aliens in America. I have a small role on that, but like a role. It's the pilot episode that I'm on, the first episode. And um, I've been in, in talks with this management company, with Bob, who contacted me through MySpace, actually, by watching one of my videos. Or his partner watched one of my videos in, in the company and sent them to Bob, and Bob watched them and contacted me. And then we had a meeting, and it was amazing. So, like, I, I feel it's about to really start, like, television and film. And, and I'm cool with that. I think being an entertainer maybe will be good, will be good because it will alleviate a lot of people's, it will alleviate my own fear because I'll just be doing what I want to do and I won't be afraid of it anymore and I'm terrified of it because I'm not doing it and I want to. Maybe I'll always be scared. I'm just a, I'm just a guy, I'm just a scared guy. I'm not anything, anything more than just a scared guy. And I need you. I need every, every video that comes to me affects me. I watch it, I listen. I can't do this. I mean, I can't, if I try and do this by myself, if I try and discover things about myself by myself, I'll just go crazy and react out of anger and start getting violent. And that's what Hitler did. I mean, he, he just shut people out. He created a world where he had control and then, and that's what happened. And I think George Bush is doing the same thing. He just doesn't listen to people. He's created a world where he has control. And because he's not listening, things are getting violent. And he's got to listen. He's got to speak what he's feeling to people. And not say what he thinks peop what he's supposed to say. Not tell people that everything's fine. Because everything's not fine. Everything's fucked up as hell. Everything is fucked up as hell. Everything. People don't want to accept that the world is fucked up. So if I'm in the middle of it right now and I can't see it, maybe is it possible that I can be inspired to see it by someone bringing it up to me like right now, like you? Is that possible? Am I deluding myself? Because I feel like I see it. I feel like I see it clearer. That I... am... lost. I don't know. What should we do? Do you guys want to start putting something together? 
<clears throat> like a some sort of sociological machine some sort of actual like a business you guys want to put a business together or a corp not a corporation but like a a group see that's the thing as soon as it becomes like a group as soon as it becomes group mentality then it's like cult mentality and this isn't a cult this is a personal development for each person individually it has nothing to do with forming a group and everyone sitting down and not me standing up and talking and everyone listening then everyone drinks the Kool-Aid if you don't know that reference it's jo the Jonestown massacre back in like the 70s when some guy Jones I don't, I don't know the specifics but he's some guy it was amazing they went and they formed a commune and then they were living alone on this commune and like the, new, the media went down there the CIA went down there or something and to check it out and I guess all hell broke loose and the leader the guy in charge told everyone to drink the Kool-Aid that was poisoned and everyone drank all this Kool-Aid and like hundreds of people just died committed suicide everyone kids all the people that were living there and that's what happens when you close off and do a community YouTube is not a community feels good to say that it is but it's not it's a free platform of speech it's a place where we can bounce our ideas off of other people, but it's not a community. Community is the dangerous thing. As great as it sounds, communism comes from community. And communism doesn't work. This is not a community. We're all individuals. It's, it's a bunch of individual leaders expressing their own opinions. And if you're not expressing your opinions, then it's time to start like what you just did Veronica that's what I want when someone talks to me that's what I want I want someone to tell me that I'm getting fucking out of hand and I want them to tell me why and what they think I don't just want people to agree I don't want people to be to feel good it's not about being stable Amanda said you're unstable right now I said I know people that are stable aren't dealing with things they're just sitting there in stasis. I'm unstable because I'm exploring myself. It's fine. Be unstable. Give over to it. Let yourself get shaken up. I gotta watch that anger. I gotta, I gotta, don't have to watch the anger. I have to watch for it and then go after why I'm having it. And I think I'm having this anger because of my acting career and I'm really on edge about it right now. And I'm pressing Amanda to change. I've just told her all what I wanted and that's got me all on edge and it's amazing it's really working everything's getting better it's getting more real I feel a lot better I feel a lot better yeah 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 Okay. That was just, did you like my moment of just feeling better just then? Like just it, having a little bit of like feeling good. And I liked it. I liked that it was on camera. I almost shut the camera and I thought, I didn't even think about it. I just kept let, I let the camera go and I just started letting it out. Letting it out. I'm gonna let it out. Why not? <laughs> 